2023, consumers have a multitude of payment options when making a purchase, but it's up to the business to decide what they'll accept at the register. Many are only accepting digital options now, leaving a stash of cash in your wallet. Abby Carnavali is getting answers on what a cashless payment world could mean. In 2023, it seems as though Americans have a new payment option every few weeks. Cash turned into check, and that turned into credit, and then that turned into apps on your phone. There are a couple of things going on. One is just the technology, which we didn't have 10 or five, you know, five, even 10 years ago. AIC economics professor John Rogers tells Western Mass News that Americans have more options than ever, including when it comes to what's in their wallet. But many large businesses are making that decision for them. It kind of makes me scratch my head that I don't from my standpoint, I can't understand why they would do that. Kate Gord, owner of Cooper's Gifts, still prefers cash from her customers, even if it is harder to come by. Definitely uh, people are moving away from cash. Everyone is using their debit card or whatnot, um, and that's kind of the norm. So we've seen a big decrease in the amount of cash usage. Consumer spending habits support the idea of a cashless economy. According to data from the Federal Reserve, since 2015, credit and debit card transactions have increased in frequency and in amount. Inversely, cash and check transactions have declined. Cash payments allow us to keep our prices lower because then we don't need to pay the processing fees for the card payments. But also, it gives us instant access to the money from your payment when it's cash. Whereas a credit card payment, it, there's a delay of a few days before that those funds hit our business account. Rogers explains what the transition looks like on a larger scale. I think it's a bit of a standoff. I think the trend is toward cashless, but I, I still think you have a sector of the economy that needs to use cash. And you have um, the government that's kind of trying to push people toward cashless payments. According to a 1978 Massachusetts state law, it is illegal to discriminate against a cash buyer by requiring the use of credit by a buyer in order to purchase such goods and services. Still, that hasn't kept larger organizations in Western Mass from moving to card-only transactions. For the most part, it's been a positive reaction. Recently, with the, uh, with, with the Thunderbird season getting started back up, I think uh, we've, we have noticed a, a, a few people that have, um, that have run into an issue with it. Uh, but we're navigating it, and we're, we're able to accept cash at certain locations. Uh, the state of Massachusetts requires that. Chris Hayes from Mass Mutual Center tells Western Mass News they transitioned to a cashless business just in the recent years. First and foremost, it, it helps to increase the volume of sales, um, faster throughput, uh, the transactions are much quicker. Uh, we estimate about 25% faster uh, by doing a credit card sale than, than a cash sale. In addition to Mass Mutual Center, Six Flags New England only accepts card payments. According to their website, guests with cash are able to convert it to a prepaid debit card at kiosks in the park. And Bay State Medical Center also operates in a card-only fashion as of October 1st. In a statement to Western Mass News, Bay State Health says, we will not turn patients away if they only have cash on hand, and we will make arrangements for patients to complete payment after care is delivered in a manner that does not impose additional burden or expense on them. Additionally, they address those without access to digital or credit payments. It's another hurdle Rogers sees in a cashless economy. You do have a lot of unbanked people in this country so people who don't really have access to those financial services. So I think you have to worry about them. Rogers and Gord have different takes on a push to go cashless. Rogers sees it as an opportunity for the federal government to avoid printing physical bills and regulate illegal practices that operate only on cash. Gord sees card-only business allowing for less room for error when it comes to theft. For Gord, though, it's a matter of making change for her customers. It boils down to we're happy for the business. We'll find a way to make it work. Reporting in Springfield, Abby Carnavali, Western Mass News.